here today at the new Glock Model 30S. I saw these things back to SHOT Show back in January, and uh, it's uh, a different version of the Glock Model 30, which they're double stack, compact, 45 ACP. The difference with this S, first of all, it uses the SF frame, which is good. That's a short frame. It's uh, not hardly as huge in your hand as the regular Glock Model 30, so that's a good thing. But what they've done different on this 30S is they use pretty much the slide from the Model 36, which is thinner. It's the same thickness as the slide on like a Glock 17 and 19. Uh, for all practical purposes, it's that thin. It's almost an eighth of an inch thinner than a standard Glock 30 slide, and it's about three and a half ounces lighter, this gun is, than a Glock 30. So that's, that's all good things for a gun that you're carrying concealed. It still comes with the 10 round magazine, which you get two of them with it. They've got the little finger extension on them. It's not the, the flat bottom plate like you can get for these. It'll use those. It'll also use the Model 21 magazines uh, to carry for spares, which will stick out, but it gives you uh, more capacity in it for your backup magazines. If you're carrying extra magazines, they might as well be the long ones. Anyway, this carries really well. It's got all the features that we've come to love on Glocks. The main thing is it shoots like a Glock, which means it works every time you pull the trigger. No malfunctions. These are as reliable as any semi-automatic pistol can be. It's got the finger grooves on here with the uh, with the mag in it. I got I wear an extra large size glove hand that still gives me purchase from a little finger on there. So it's easy to hold, it's easy to shoot, easy to shoot well. Weighs a little over 22 ounces, uh, unloaded, holds 11 rounds fully loaded, feels good in the hand. Uh, it's very accurate. I put it in the uh, ransom rest. I modified my Glock 21 uh, insert to hold this in the ransom rest and it shoots uh, right at just a little over an inch at 25 yards, five shot groups up to, depending on the ammo, around three inches. You know, some ammo just won't shoot good, no matter how accurate the gun is, it's not going to shoot uh, inaccurate ammo accurately. But, with the good ammo, it's match accurate, shot really well. Uh, it comes with the standard uh, Glock type sights on it, which your uh, U-notch at the rear, white outline, dot on the front, you can upgrade your sights with some good XS, uh, big dot tritium sights, or some uh, Trizicon tritium sights, works really well on it. Right now, as far as I can tell, uh, Crimson Trace don't have a laser out to fit it yet. Uh, they're working on it. Should be available pretty soon. The same laser that will fit your uh, Glock 30 SF will fit this. This don't have the Gen 4 uh, interchangeable back straps, which I don't know if they're going to work on the Gen 4 version of this or not. Doesn't really matter. It's pretty good the way it is. If you want a compact, reliable, lightweight, uh, 45 ACP in a Glock design, this is it. It's the best of the Model 30s that I've seen so far. I even like it better than the Model 36 because the 36 is a single stack version uh, with basically the same slide. But this gives you more capacity and it still uh, fix a, a medium to large, extra large size hand well. If you got really small hands, you might want to try one in your hand before you order one. But anyway, these are just out from Glock and it's a, a excellent, reliable weapon and we've been shooting it some and having fun with it. I got this slide off here. I want to show you a couple of features on this. It's kind of filthy, but you can see it anyway. It's got a, a captured uh, uh, multiple spring recoil rod uh, system in it, guide rod with your springs on it, which uh, really helps it absorb your recoil function like it's supposed to. The barrel on these, it will not interchange with a Model 30 barrel because the slide being thinner, the barrel's a little slimmer too, so you can't put a Model 30 barrel in there. You know, if you've got an idea of ordering one from Lone Wolf for a Model 30 to put in here, or a, a, a Model 21 uh, barrel to put in here and have it stick out, you can't do it. This is a little bit slimmer, so fix this gun, but just this one. So it's a, it's a good, excellent recoil system, barrel system, locks up really well, it's very accurate, and uh, we're going to shoot a little bit, just show how it Function of the recoil. I've shot a lot of different loads in here. Handles recoil really well. The, the standard pressure stuff is just pussycat to shoot. The uh, plus P stuff kicks a little harder, but it still handles it well. Don't try to jump out of your hand. It comes with uh, this hard case. Uh, it comes with two magazines, your cable lock, this Glock loader. Now these things are, uh, it's hard to get that last round in this short fat magazine. I recommend these uh, up Lula's from Mag Lula really makes it easier to load, but it does come with this one. You can get it in there if you use that one. If you just try to use your thumbs, you're gonna warm up pretty quick if you're doing much shooting. But 
It comes with all these accessories and uh, it's the model uh, 30S from Glock. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this holster I got for this uh, Glock 30S. It's from Blue Ridge Holsters. I got some good still pictures of me wearing it showing how tight it pulls in against the side and all but I wanted to take it off to show you here how it's made. It's a, a hybrid holster like uh, many on the market are but the difference is this don't have a leather back on the holster itself. It's a Kydex all around the gun so it's really thin and lightweight. The leather part is where it attaches to your belt that holds you and that gives it the flex you need to shape to your body without it being just flat on the back of leather. So it's a real good way to do it. The, uh, the belt loops are aluminum on here and they screw on these Chicago screws, hold it really well and uh, keeps it in position. But anyhow, the leather on here gives it the flex, like I said, to hold it in tight to your body. It tucks the butt of this gun in and that's what's hard to hide on a concealment uh, uh, gun that you carry that you want to keep uh, anybody from seeing it with a light shirt on outside or whatever. The barrel length is not as important as is the butt because the butt's going to be sticking out when you reach for something or bend over or whatever. But this holster keeps this Glock tucked in really tight. You can wear it, I like mine about right here. Some people wear them a little further back, but wherever you put it, this will flex, the leather parts will flex and pull it in there and keep it tight against you and keep it comfortable uh, without the butt of the gun digging in your rib cage or if you got any side fat or whatever getting in the way there. But anyway, this Blue Ridge holster is a good way to carry it. It's from uh, blueridgeholsters.com. First, I'm gonna shoot some standard uh, 230 grain Remington ball out of here. Uh, full metal jacket and just show you how easy it handles the recoil. Not bad at all. Really easy to handle on this standard pressure stuff. Now I'm going to load up some 230 grain plus P buffalo bore stuff to show you the difference in the recoil but this gun still handles it really well. I'm going to shoot some of this Buffalo Bore lead free uh, that uses the 160 grain Barnes uh, TAC XP bullet. Now what this will do is it expands really well in gelatin, penetrates really well, but it gives you good expansion at standard pressure. This is standard pressure, a uh, low recoil load. So for a, a load that doesn't kick much, this is one of my favorite loads you can get right here. Real easy to handle in this. Like I said, it's low recoil, but uh, very effective. finally figured out a good use for a turnip. I've never found a good use for them before, but I grow them because my mama likes them, but I've never found any good, to, nothing good to do with them. They don't make a very effective doorstop or anything, but they make a pretty good target, so we're going to shoot one. Well, you can see how it busted through the little turnip. It don't explode a turnip like it will a watermelon or something because not much moisture in one of these dry, nasty things. They stink too. But anyway, it shows a little bit of bullet expansion as it was coming out of there from that uh, TAC XP bullet out of that Buffalo bore load and uh, found something good I can do with that turnip. 